Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over this super cool unit we had a customer just build. Customer came in, wanted to custom build a trailer. She wanted to build her dream trailer she's always thought of. So she took a four horse bumper pull and pretty much loaded it with options and custom built it to fit her needs. Which she's an endurance rider, so she takes us around the you know country globe and pretty much races horses long distance. I'm pretty cool gal. Um, but anyway, this is the trailer she custom built. It's a 2021 Cimarron North Star. It's loaded with the options and we'll just kind of walk around and I'll show you the options she opted to pick, kind of how they work and some options that maybe you guys could pick to build some future trailers for you guys. So this is a kind of cool setup. It's a reverse reverse load. So you're going to load your horses from this driver's side and they will load reverse so their heads will face the rear of this trailer. But it's kind of cool because you don't offload them on this side. All your gates on the inside, they're going to swivel both ways, so you can load them one way, you can pivot all your gates and then offload them the other way. That way you're not worrying about backing horses down a ramp. And the benefit of it is having your offload on that passenger side over there. You're not going to be offloading into traffic if you have a problem on the side of the road. On this tail side, we do have drop downs. The trailer pretty much has drop downs all the way around this trailer. Again, you're going to maximize your airflow with a setup like this. You can see all the daylight through this trailer. Again, that's you know, warm summer days. You're going to have so much airflow for these horses in this trailer with having drop downs on both sides of this trailer. <laughs> Another thing I want to point out is even on your uh, rear stall door here, there is a drop down there as well. So your last horse you load will have drop down and he will have airflow for your horse on this side of the trailer. Above your load door, you do have your 16-inch uh, awning load light. Again, we want to keep you guys safe. We want to keep your horses safe. Customer wanted an awning load lights all the way around this trailer. That way she could see what she was doing, see the horses. You know, she doesn't get in a bind. Her horses don't get in a bind. Everyone's safe traveling. And it's always nice if you get somewhere late or early in the morning and it's dark out, to be able to see what you're doing pretty efficiently around your whole trailer. So we'll climb up in here and I'll show you guys this action. Cool part about this trailer is she did opt for the worm flooring. Um, what this worm flooring is, is it's a pretty much a permanent flooring. Uh, it's on Cimarron's best floor. So underneath this, you're still getting the best floor in the industry. You're getting that all aluminum floor, V truss on four inch centers, strongest floor in the industry. But they took it up a notch and they did this permanent worm. And what that permanent worm does is it pretty much seals that aluminum down to the ground. And by sealing that, you're never gonna have to worry about water eating at that, or water or urine eating at that aluminum. And it's gonna be pretty easy to just come in here and hose this trailer out, open all your drop downs and let it dry out pretty quick. She also opted when she built this trailer is to go to these airflow dividers. Again, maximizing airflow, maybe letting her horses see each other a little bit. Horses tend to sense each other a little better with the airflow dividers. And they let you see your horses too. We're fixing to install a camera system in this later this week for her. So that way when she's traveling, she can see her horses back here, make sure they're standing up, make sure they're safe, stuff like that. She's actually going to pull this with a motorhome, so it's going to be pretty cool going down the road. Not only putting cameras in this trailer, but we're also going to send it to our sister company, Mammoth, and they're going to wrap this trailer to match her motorhome later this week as well. But again, so you'd load all your horses this way, and then you'd offload them the other way. Before I show you guys how they offload, I want to talk about some of the features in the inside of this trailer. You'll notice it is equipped with mangers. They're 18 inch mangers, so you can feed your horses in here. This trailer's eight wide, so they're going to have plenty of room with these mangers in here as well. The cool thing about the mangers is it lets you feed them on the inside. It'll give you some storage on the outside that I'll show you guys here in a second. But it's real simple to use. They so have drains in each one of these mangers, or not in each one, but in the whole system. So pretty much, pretty much. You can feed, grain, do whatever, and if it gets nasty in here, like I said, it's pretty easy to come in here with the hose. You can start at one end and spray, and it goes underneath all your head dividers into a drain over there in the corner on the back side of this trailer. Mangers are super easy. That way your horses aren't getting hung up in hay nets. You know, they're not, you're not having to deal with hay nets. Hay nets are a pain. You're just throwing hay through windows. It's really easy to use the drop down windows and feed your horses inside this trailer. You'll notice I'll talk about a little bit, this trailer does have an integrated hay pod. You'll notice the roof does drop down in here. So you are 7'10 tall to your tallest point in here. You're more like 7'7 to your integrated hay pod. So again, your horses are still going to have plenty of room. It's sized about the same as the living quarter to this ceiling, and then you're going to be an extra 3 inches tall to this ceiling. So your horses are going to have plenty of room. Um, show you guys a little bit how these dividers operate. So again, you load your horse one way. Your front horse would load like just like that. I'll let you sneak by me so we can show them how it works. So 
So just show you how to work one of them. You'd sneak by, you'd load your horse, and then you'd pretty much latch it how you normally would for travel. So your horse would be riding here like travel. You get where you're going. From where we're videoing from, that's going to be your offload ramp. So you'd pretty much, you get where you're going, you're going to fold that ramp down, leave your back door closed because you don't need it anymore. You're going to offload that first horse, and when you start getting to your other horses, you just move your divider, and all your horses walk out straight. So as you can see, it's really efficient, and it's going to keep your horses a lot more safe. They're going to travel a lot better, and they're going to feel a whole heck of a lot comfortable walking off front ways versus back in the whole length of this trailer, angling out that ramp and going down. It's going to keep your horses really safe. It's going to keep, your keep you really safe, and I promise you're going to really like how all this stuff works in here. It is fully LED lighted. Again, on that inside, you can see we do have four LED lights. Again, we want to make sure you guys have enough light while you're loading and unloading this trailer. And again, you'll see all those will close, the load front way. All the gates are set up just like that one I kind of just showed you, so you can pivot swivel them each way. Load your horses from the front of the trailer and offload them here at the rear. So here we are on your passenger side or your head side of this trailer. Um, it's pretty much going to mirror that other side minus the mangers. So we talked a little bit about the drop downs and the mangers on the inside. But again, what those mangers do on the inside of this trailer is they do allow you to have all this storage here on the outside of the trailer. The customer who built this trailer, she wanted to maximize the storage options on this trailer. Again, she's going to be traveling in a motorhome. She's going to be kind of limited on trailers she could pull. Um, and because of that, she wanted more storage on her trailer just because she can't pull a gooseneck. She doesn't have that big front tack. She is stuck to a bump pull pull behind that. But again, you'll see, I'll show you guys some options she put on this trailer that just really maximizes the storage. So you do have your 18 inch mangers in here for storage. We do have a carpeted bridle area right there, or she can hang whatever she needs right there. Again, it's carpeted behind there to protect whatever she's hanging there from scratching this aluminum. We just want to keep this trailer looking nice. Again, you do have three big manger doors right here, and above those we do have our big Cimarron drop downs. I always talk about how easy Cimarron drop downs are to use. Um, they're really big, they're really heavy duty. Um, they're pretty much, I mean, they're sturdy. I can't bend them, no one can bend them. Um, Cool thing I like about them though is we talked kind of about hay bags on the inside. It's going to be super easy to feed your horses in this trailer. If you get where you're going, you need to throw hay to them or you're throwing hay to them before you leave, you can pretty much load them, drop your window, throw hay in there, check on them, do what you need to do. Because a lot of times if you throw hay in there before you load your horses, they're not going to load to the stall you want to load them to. They're going to jump right to that first stall that has the hay in it and they're going to be a pain to try and get moved because they want to eat. So it's really easy to load them feed them, check on them with these windows. A little cold this morning. All right, so you do have your big drop downs in every stall, minus your offload stall. You will have a hay bag in this offload stall, so your mangers don't go all the way through this trailer. Again, they're super easy to use, super functional, and again, we're just kind of maximizing that airflow for your horses. Talking a little bit about the airflow, if you don't want to use the drop downs, maybe it's a chilly morning, but it's still not cold enough out that your horses are going to be fully loaded up. You do have slider type windows in the middle of all these drop downs. That way if you want a little bit of air for your horses but it's a chilly morning and you don't want to just you know cool them out of this trailer you can open all your sliders and give them just a little bit of air and keep them comfortable. This trailer is on two uh, 7,000 pound Dexter Airflex axles. So this is an air ride trailer, so again, the horses are going to be comfortable loading and unloading. And then once you start driving, I mean, they're going to get the best ride you can possibly get on a trailer with these air ride axles. The cool thing about these air ride axles is they are on Dexter rubber torsions underneath that. So you almost get double the cushion underneath that air. And then again, if you do get in a bind and your air ride system has a malfunction for some reason, you can just travel down the road like you normally would on those Dexter axles. The cool thing we added to this trailer, again, she is pulling this with a motorhome going to her endurance. Um, we added these, L these amber turn signals right here. So these are actually turn signals. So they'll be lighted up like that. And if you go to click your turn signal on on your motorhome, your truck, or whatever, they will flash back there. You can see them flash. It lets people know you're getting over. But another great thing is when you're pulling this with the motorhome, you're going to be, I mean, this is going to be a long rig. And it's going to be kind of hard to know where your trailer's at. By putting a big light on the side of these trailers, that way you always know where your trailer at's behind you, where you're pulling. And you kind of know where your wheels are at in relation to that. It's just really 
effective and keeping you safe and also letting the people around you know kind of what you're doing with your rig. You will notice up top it does have an integrated hay pod. We talked about that a little bit on the inside. The difference between an integrated hay pod and just hay pod is you'll see there's no trim in between your hay pod and your trailer. It just vents directly down into that. The other version of this hay pod, you'll have a trim, you'll have air vents, and you'll kind of see the difference between the hay pod and the trailer. She opted for an integrated. It looks really slick and sleek on this trailer. She kind of built one of the coolest trailers I've ever seen, in my opinion. Um, but again, I'll show you guys that hay rack up top. She has a really cool contraption that kind of a load hay for you up there. But before we do that, I'll show you guys the meat of this trailer. So this trailer has a couple tack options I'll show you guys. This is her full rear. Again, she won't opted for the most storage she could possibly get out of this tack. She has two brush trays right here. She can load sprays, brushes, anything she needs to go to travel. And then on the inside, it'll really amaze you guys. She does have a swing out saddle rack. Kind of simmer on standard thing. That way she can saddle out here pretty effective, pretty efficiently. Um, as long as, as well as swing out saddle or blanket bars. But if you want to jump in there real quick, I guess you don't have to jump in there. Here, I'll swing this back for you. If you look here on this other wall, we have pretty much bridle hooks all over the place. We got bridle hooks all the way on that back wall, bridle hooks on your side wall, bridle hooks in your corner. And there's even bridle hooks back here in this little cranny. She pretty much said, anywhere we can put bridle hooks, put bridle hooks. Anywhere we can put shelves, put shelves. So each side of this trailer will have five shelves on it. That's something we typically don't do. Sometimes we'll do one, but she wanted shelves everywhere. And it turned out really cool. We actually have shelves on this other wall as well. They're a little bit bigger, a little bit deeper shelves. They go all the way to the ceiling. She's never gonna run out of storage options in this trailer. Again, here's kind of your back end of this trailer. You will have your brake lights, your LED lights. We do have two big LED spotlights up there at that gate. Cool thing about that gate is, is it is on a pin system that kind of works like that uh, bolt system and those dividers. You pull one pin and that gate can actually swing open. If you did need to load something up in there, needed a little more room to do something, that gate was in your way, it can swing out of the way. But you guys are probably wondering what this crazy thing is behind me. Um, I've actually never seen one on a trailer in person, but we're going to show you guys how to use this hay lift. So what this is, is it allows you to load hay up there into your hay pod. Um, you can do it by yourself. It kind of gives you that option to not be, you know, using a skidster to load hay or trying to swing hay up the ladder or something like that. So it's pretty simple to use. It all folds up inside a nice closet door when you're traveling. You just take your bale of hay at the house on it. You plug into the wall somewhere and you got your handy dandy seven pin right here. And you pretty much hit a button after your bale's on there, and it starts raising your bale up there. And then once it gets to the top, it's kind of going to do a flicking motion, and it's going to flick the hay up in there and make it super easy for you guys to load. Again, it can be a real pain by yourself trying to load hay, and this just kind of makes it super, super easy on you. And there you go. And your hay's up there. You go up your ladder, you throw your bales in there, you close your hay pot on them and you're going to have nice dry hay and you're not going to be mad at yourself for trying to load hay for three hours on the back of this. And then again, it comes right down. It lowers rather slowly, but it lowers and then you pretty much, you pull a pin. You pull a pin, you'll fold it in. And when you fold it in, it's going to, this whole door is going to close. And once it closes, I mean, it's going to be sleek. You're not even going to notice it's there. And you throw another bale on there and you just keep going. I mean, it's going to take some time, but it's going to keep you safe from not climbing up ladders with hay, maybe not trying to get in and out of the skidster by yourself. And again, if you're, some people are limited. They don't have someone to help them. If you're in a bind trying to go somewhere and you can't find someone to help you, this is going to be a real great option for you to use to load hay. And again, we'll kind of work our way back around this side of the trailer. I missed one thing I want to show you guys talking about storage wise. Um, this trailer is actually set up with two tack rooms. We have this big full rear, and we'll work our way back to the front. We actually have a huge front tack on this trailer as well. Again, you'll see that hay rack up there. We do have the hay pod open up there, and you, 
you seen the camera that angled and showed that uh, hay bale flip in there. That's actually sitting in that hay pod. You can fit up to, I think it's like 15 bales in that hay pod, so you'll never have an issue with having enough hay for all your horses while you're traveling. But up here at the front of this trailer, you'll notice this is a big front tack. But another thing you'll notice is there's no swing out door on this front tack. What she did is she went for a full roll up door. So when you're traveling, that'll lock. It's super slick. It's 100% watertight and it's just, it's super easy to use. I mean, once you roll that up, you're not having to worry about wind catching the door. You don't have to worry about that door being in the way of anything. You pretty much pull your latch, let her go, and then you have full access to your tack and there's no door in the way. But in this tack room, Again, she wanted more shelves, more storage. Um, so what we did is we put shelves on this whole front wall. They're really deep shelves. You're gonna have three shelves. I mean, when she built this trailer, she got as in depth to tell us how many inches she wanted the shelves off the floor, how many inches she wanted them from the ceiling. I mean, you, you can, when you build a Cimarron trailer, it is 100% custom down to the inch of whatever you wanna do. In the middle unit of this shelf, it is an air ride trailer. Here is your air ride uh, unit, how you control the up, down, and your pressure in this trailer. Um, it's hidden real nice in between these shelves. So again, you roll up your door, turn your air ride on, roll your door down, and go down the road. Up here is your shore cord for this trailer. It is equipped. It does have a 30 amp plug on the outside. So again, if you did have a generator, you wanted to plug into the generator, or maybe give your batteries a quick charge, load some hay, you know, stuff like that. You do have your 30 amp shore card shore cord and then over here in the corner we do have your 25 gallon water tank again she's going to be going to endurance races she might not have some water available where she's going this gives her the option to have that water while she's traveling but also when she gets where she's going she's not going to have to worry about trying to find water right away she can water her horses real effectively right when she gets to where she's going there is uh two outlets over there right next to that breaker box that way she can, you know, if she wants to plug in some grooming tools to groom her horses, maybe charge her phone or something simple like that, she does have the option to have two outlets right there. And on the other side of this nose wall of this bumper pull, it is again more bridle hooks and it's fully carpeted again to protect that aluminum, that painted aluminum on this trailer, that way it's not scratching up, but also to protect your bits and bridles. They can get pretty expensive too, so by carpeting that, I mean, she's going to save her bridles going down the road and she's going to save this trailer a lot of uh, scratches in the future. This deal over here on this partition wall of this trailer, uh, she pins her horses when she goes to endurance races. So what this is, is she told us how big her uh, pins were, how big her panels were in this trailer, and pretty much told us where to pin them. So what she's going to do is before she travels, she's going to slide, you know, five, ten panels in here that will fit on this wall, and they will strap to these hooks right here. That way her panels are secure, she still has enough room to get through here and walk around, and then when she gets where she's going, she pretty much just slides her panels out the door, stalls her horses, and she's there for the weekend or whatever she does, and it's just a lot, a lot more efficient to be able to have a place to securely store your panels than throwing them in the hay rack. I've seen people strap them to the side of their trailers, but she offered to actually have a secure spot for them in this trailer. She pretty much thought of everything that would benefit her in her dream trailer that she built, which uh, hopefully this works out for her. You have your spare tire in here again. It's an all aluminum spare. Um, it's going to match all the other tires on this trailer. That way, if you do have a blowout or a tire goes flat, you can put the spare on there and not have to worry about putting a donut on your trailer or putting a you know a steel wheel that makes your trailer not look as flashy. And then again, once you get where you're going, you just take your roll up, slide her down, lock it, and you go traveling. It's a super cool trailer. It looks super cool. Um, she's going to come pick this up next week sometime. If you ever see this trailer going down the road, it'll probably look a little different. Like I said, she's going to our sister company and she's going to wrap it to match her motorhome she just bought. It's going to be a super cool looking trailer. If you're interested in this trailer, go ahead and give me a call. My name's Tanner at TransWest Trailers, Tra TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick. And my phone number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in.